Hi guys, welcome back to Jundis Lagadag Reaction. For today's video reaction guys, like to thanks to the owner of this video, US Defense Videos. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video, US Defense Videos. And the title of this video that we need to do some reaction for today is US sending 1,000 troops to help Manila over the threat of China fishing boat in South China Sea. And this is like an issue of the Philippines here in our country. It's been like years and years or decades maybe and allow me to read some information with this video u.s sending 1000 troops to help manila over the next two weeks the philippines armed forces will hold joint exercises with the hundreds of u.s soldiers amid of growing tensions with beijing in south china sea according to the arab news nearly 1700 filipino and american military personnel will take part in the joint exercise um, i i hope that this issues I know that it will be like take forever long. I hope that uh, China, between China and Philippines, will give like uh, real talks about it of the issue of this like South China Sea. People learn something about this video also, and I really want to hear from your side and much respect to the U.S. So that I hope we will have peace. We will just like uh, giving each other like a love to our country, to our people, and thank you so much to the U.S. to your support. To our country also to other to other countries also who supporting with the uh, with the philippines about these issues and i hope guys you'll be having fun and enjoy watching with this one who new to my channel just click on the subscribe button click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads and if you have some comments suggestions related to this video guys drop it on the comment section i would love to read and respond you all and make your video request also enjoy guys and learn something about this video The U.S. sending 1,000 troops to help Manila over the threat of China fishing boat in the South China Sea. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this were... Over the next two weeks, the Philippines Armed Forces will hold joint exercises with hundreds of U.S. soldiers amid growing tensions with Beijing in the South China Sea. Oh I hope that things will be okay. I... Oh my... I... According to Arab News, nearly 1,700 Filipino and American military personnel will take part in the joint exercises. Unlike in previous years, the Balakatan Exercises 2021 BK21, will not be open to the public as part of safety protocols to limit the spread of the virus. The exercises officially start tomorrow and will last for about two weeks, Armed wow. Forces of the Philippines, AFP Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Cirillo Sobahana told reporters on Sunday. We will be conducting the exercises, but it will be different from previous years because of the pandemic. There will be a virtual portion of the exercise, he said. Oh my, that's good, that's good. The opening ceremonies for BK21 will be held at the AFP General Headquarters in Camp Aguinaldo, Quezon City on Monday, Sobahana said, adding that 700 American and 1,000 Filipino troops would take part. This year's resumption of the annual BK21 event, which was called off last year due to the pandemic, follows a phone call between the two countries' defense chiefs on Sunday to reaffirm their shared commitment to the U.S.-Philippines alliance. This is good. Thank you so much, U.S., for supporting us always to the Philippines. In a statement, Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby said that U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin III and his Filipino counterpart Delphin Lorenzana discussed the situation in the South China Sea and the recent massing of People's Republic of China maritime militia vessels at Juan Felipe, Whitson, Reef. The Defense and Foreign Affairs Ministries in the Philippines have been up in arms for a fortnight over the presence of 220 fishing boats suspected to be manned by Chinese maritime militia at Whitson Reef 
with statements flying back and forth over the alleged incursion into the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Secretary of Philippines Foreign Affairs Teddy Loxon JNR said last Wednesday he was firing off another diplomatic protest to China's oh. embassy and would continue objecting every day until the last one's gone like it should be by now if it is really fishing. Yeah, because there will be questions about Even it, after water. such an intensifying row, China hasn't shown any sign of relocation of the vessels. Instead, they have accused the Philippines of using a 2016 International Tribunal ruling which deprived oh, really? China of certain outcrops of territorial generating status. The ruling from the Permanent Court of Arbitration effectively punches holes in China's all-encompassing, 9 dash line that stretches deep into the South China Sea, as reported by the Sydney Morning Herald. The 2016 really International oh, Tribunal God. ruling denies China of its thousand years of fishing rights in the area. There are always like issues. Meanwhile, the United years States has reminded China of Washington's treaty obligations to the Philippines in the event of an attack in the waters. Yeah. An armed attack against the Philippines' armed forces, public vessels or aircraft in the Pacific, including in the South China Sea, will trigger our obligations under the U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty, State Department spokesman Ned Price told reporters. The Whitson Reef belongs to the Spratly Archipelago, the territory of which is claimed by Brunei, China, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. China considers the Spratly Archipelago to be its territory, despite the Hague-based Permanent Court of Arbitration ruling, which said there was no legal basis for China's maritime claims. Mm -hmm. Wow, this this armory are cool. A good one. Oh my god, I hope this exercise or their training will be do great guide to protect the country also. Thank you so much to the, to the uh, US troops for helping for the Filipino soldiers also to have their nice training. I wish we can have this like equipments and like this weaponry the same as the US. Oh my god, that's incredible. Really?
that's so amazing video also guys that i hope the exercise or the training itself between the us and the filipino also for helping that to give a nice training within just two weeks i know that it should be be very helpful and like to protect in our country also thank you so much us for helping us and to the other country also and this is just like an amazing video also guys and guys just let me know also what you can say about the video this is just like an years and years of issue about the, between the china and the Pil china and the philippines with the south china sea oh my god this is the full video guys it's in the description box below if you like this video see as i did just give a massive thumbs up like and share subscribe also with my channel and this is junis lagadag react saying stay humble stay positive guys bye and see you in my next video reaction if you have some comment suggestion related to this video guys drop it on the comment section i would love to read and respond to you all have a good day everyone bye bye